You guys asked for it, and I'm here to deliver the torture test between two of the most popular drills on the market, the Compact Milwaukee versus the DeWalt. I've received hundreds of comments in the previous videos testing some of the cheaper tools on Amazon, but most of the, a lot of the comments that came in said, you know, we're not really interested in that. We want to see the tools that we're actually going to buy. Most people are not going to buy those low end tool, low end tools, and, or low end tools, and I get that. Probably, um, I think most people are going to agree for the for the consumer, the prosumer, uh, the Milwaukee tools, the Dewalt tools, the uh, Makita tools are all they're, they're all really nice. It's really really good stuff. They have a great great track record, and these right here are probably. Uh, going to be two of the big contenders. Now these are going to be in the entry level of the lithium batteries. So these are considered to be compact. They're smaller drills. They are traditional brushed motors. They're not the brushless motors, but they come in at a pretty good price point. That's good for most guys. And they both of them are just excellent tools. I've used them around here, just kind of playing around a bit before we did this test. Now the Dewalt is going to come in at about uh, $99, and that gives you one battery at a charger. The Milwaukee, on the other hand, is a little bit more expensive. It was, I think, an extra 46, 40, it's roughly just under $150. So my question is, is there a $150 difference between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt? So let's take a look at the features really quickly, and then we'll get into the torture test, and we'll find out which one smokes and possibly catches on fire first. Let's take a quick look at these in stunning 4K. Man, it takes up a lot of hard drive space, but it looks really great. Okay, we'll start with the Milwaukee. So just looking at these, and I'm not a super tool expert, but I am a user and I've used them all my life. And just from what I can see right here is that just little details in the Milwaukee that um, are kind of nice, uh, but that's kind of to be expected, I guess, because it's $50 more. We got a, looks like a metal chuck and maybe a plastic one here. Little things I noticed that, you know, Milwaukee, if you're gonna pay $150 for a drill, is it too much to ask to put a little stainless uh, uh, tool belt uh, clip on there? I have that on my Makita and I like that because I can hang it on my belt and get to it when I'm doing stuff. But uh, there is no clip. I don't know if it didn't get included or what the deal is. It's not in the case, but uh, you can see right there where it looks like it goes, there's a nice brass insert where on the DeWalt, um, I'm assuming this is for a clip here. It looks like it's ambidextrous. It goes both sides, but no, plas no insert. It just screws into the plastic. Um, one thing I really like about the Milwaukee is it's uh, more compact. Look at that, it's, it's a lot. I mean, there must be a little over an inch, an inch and a quarter maybe, shorter. That's really nice for tight, confined areas. Both of them feel really good. Um, ergonomically, the, the forward reverse is easier. I don't know. I mean, that's really, we're really splitting hairs right there. They're not that bad. Both of them have uh, clutch chucks. We're going to go up to 16. Both of them go to 16. Um, low speed, high speed, a little bit shorter throw on this one. But overall, they look pretty nice. I'd have to, I guess, tip my cap uh, to the Milwaukee. It just, it feels better. Uh, it feels a little bit more solid. Um, I, I like it better. Like if I just to grab them, you know, which one like gives me the warm and fuzzy. Um, I do prefer the Milwaukee, but I don't dislike the DeWalt. They're both, they both seem to be pretty good. Now here are the chargers. Uh, both the cords are exactly the same length. The DeWalt charger is quite a bit smaller. The Milwaukee charger looks like it's got a, uh, an extra port there for, I think these are like maybe for some of the little smaller drivers. You could use it for two different types of batteries, which is nice. And also it turns green when it's charged. I like that better with a red, the DeWalt, I think it flashes when it's charging and it's a solid red, not a big deal, uh, but uh, pretty standard there, nothing uh, too exciting about that. I do like, if I could have a smaller charger, I, I'd certainly prefer that. Of course on the back they're set up so you can mount them to a wall on that one there. Both of them are the same way, but uh, Nothing new to report there. Regarding the batteries, the batteries now, the Milwaukee's gonna have an 18 volt battery with 1.5 amp hours, it says, and the DeWalt is exactly the same, but we have 20 volts. 20 volts also with a 1.5 amp hour battery. So I think that this is gonna be a pretty comparable test power-wise. So if you remember the torture test on the cheaper Amazon drills, uh, I had a hard time holding them. They had so much torque in them. Now these are way, way more powerful and I don't think that I have the strength to hold them. So 
this may or may not work. I've screwed two two by fours down to the workbench to, to help keep them to, uh, from spinning on me and put less strain on my, on my arms. So let's snap the batteries in here. One thing I noticed when I was playing with these is just the sound of it. You know, you can just, using all your senses, you can just hear the difference sometimes in these drills. Listen to the, listen, listen to the Milwaukee. Let's tighten that up so we get the rattle. Nice. It just has, Milwaukee has a more of a precise, Sound the gears sound better. Doesn't have quite such a a clunk when it comes to to the stop. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I've got a broken uh, three thirty second snap on punch that's um, got you know five sided right there, and that's going to what we're going to use to connect the two drills uh, because it won't slip on us in the chuck. So I'll chuck this up here. This is a tough old piece of steel here. That's not likely these drills are going to be able to break that. So we'll, oh goodness, those are powerful, powerful drills. Let's get this on here. Tighten these guys up, tight as I can get them. Now they should fit, the Milwaukee, Milwaukee's, oh, there we go, should fit nice and tight in there. So last time on the cheap drills, they, so much smoke came out of them that they almost poisoned me. So I'm going to I'm gonna put a, a respirator on this time because I don't want to breathe that toxic Chinese smoke. And I'm also gonna put some safety glasses on because I don't know what to expect with this. I see no downside to the safety glasses. All right, let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Oops, sorry guys, I put the, gotta take it off the clutch. We'll go full drill mode, okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, they got a cutoff switch. I'll just keep bypassing it here. Oh. The DeWalt's starting to smoke. Starting to make a bunch of racket. It's smoking. It's making noise. All right, let's switch over to the top number one gear, see what happens. Oh man, they don't like that. They both cut out. Let's go back to number two gear. It seems to be, there we go. I'm getting a lot of flex in the body of the DeWalt. It's, the DeWalt's making noise. The Milwaukee's just holding tough. It's just not doing anything. Okay, now let's go the other way. Oh, oh no, something broke. So when I reverse the chucks and this, uh, I tip this upside down, this, uh, this fell out. So the, the Torx bolt that holds the chuck on when I, went, when I reverse direction actually sheared off. And this here, I can show you up close here. This is the, oh, right there, look at that. Look at that, that broke off right there when we went, went into reverse. Here you can see what happened. There's the bolt. This is what holds the chuck on. That just sheared right off of there. So this doesn't end our test. What, it, what happened was, is we can just go back, reverse the other direction, and it will, uh, it will still function. But man, oh man, that's a lot of, lot of torque on that. And we're back at it. Oh goodness, that's a lot of torque. Lots of flex, as I said, in the handle of that. Actually, both of them. Oh, they're just under tremendous load right now. The both switches have cut out. Neither one's working. 
Look at the deflections in the bodies of these things. They're just so, they're all, this thing's just twisted to the side. Both of them twisted a lot, T tremendous stress. Both the triggers are locked up. They're just locked up. So what's happening is both drills are binding up and just basically shutting down. Oh, ow, shoot, ow, ow. That was a terrible idea, that hurt. I fear it's over for the DeWalt. It stopped smoking, it's hot. The Milwaukee is not hot, cool as a cucumber, but it's just not, something broke inside I think or is failing. Oh, change directions, see what happens. We'll go to high speed. The clutch, or the chuck came loose. <laughs> this is not going, not going well here. Oh, the, the Milwaukee's just crushing it. Thermal switches or something. Let's go back to low gear. What's our battery? Oh man, the milk, the DeWalt is just not liking this at all. Something, something's failing. Change directions again. Clutch keeps coming loose. I got to keep manually putting it back on. Oh, that's, that's doing damage. That's doing, doing. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, I think that's it. There's not even any smoke left coming out of it. Okay, so <laughs> the batteries are both, are definitely both flat. One thing that the Milwaukee has is it's got a, uh, a tester on there. It tells you the level of the battery. So, but I think it's safe to say, I'll put them back on the charger, that the, the Milwaukee just ate the DeWalt's lunch. It was just no comparison in just the amount of flex in the body. Um, it never got hot. It's still not hot. It's, it's not even warm. Um, the DeWalt is hot. Uh, made lots of noise. Let's let had a bunch of smoke coming out of it. Uh, the chuck nut broke. Uh, no, <laughs> it just it, it just not no, not in the same league. But also, you know, don't forget. We also need to keep in mind that it is a fifty dollar difference. And the, boy, that fifty dollars that really comes through, doesn't it? In my experiences, I mean, when you go to the store, and we all find ourselves in that position, you got to make that decision between. Do I want this one or this one? There's always a price point issue. Uh, do I, is it worth the extra $50? Yeah, no question here. I mean, you can see this is one ferocious little drill that just gobbled this one up. We got grease coming out of it. It seems that the uh, something inside broke in the clutch pack. It just uh, could not handle the power and strength of the, of the Milwaukee. <laughs> Will it still work? That's the question. So uh, we'll, we'll check that out next time and we'll let these charge here for a few hours. Ooh, that is hot, hot, hot. But I'd have to say, uh, you know, that, that $50 that you spend, you'll long forget it down the road uh, when you have a drill that, uh, that just is, uh, it just seems like it's just better in all, all regards. So good job, Milwaukee. I have, uh, have had some trouble with Milwaukee tools. I mean, they used to just be the gold standard growing up. The Milwaukee, the old sawzalls were just bulletproof. I used to go through lots of sawzalls in my wrecking yard. We'd use them to cut up Jeeps. And I noticed that from the old ones to the newer ones, they just didn't seem to hold up as well uh, as they used to. But uh, as far as this drill goes, man, it, uh, it is tough, tough. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the, oh, don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these torture tests. And tell me in the comments what you'd like to see next. I was thinking the other day, maybe we could get two reciprocating saws. I could like, like machine some sort of a bit to go between them and put them together and run them until uh, see which one's the toughest. But uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.